Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. I know, just so you know, I'm not a hauling, like I don't haul a lot of stuff, but I found, when I find like things that I want to share with you, I will do a haul video. And I found some really cool stuff at the Dollar Tree that I'm kind of happy about. Um, I grabbed multiples, but I'm only going to show you one. I do plan on doing a giveaway soon. Hopefully, I can get my act together and get it together. But they have finger protectors, which I thought was really, really cool. I do have some sewing finger protectors, but those are like from pricking yourself with needles. And this is 100% silicone, so that's really good for hot glue, in my opinion. I got this embossing stylus, which is really good for creasing things. And it's really inexpensive for a dollar. I'm not sure. Let me just go ahead and open it. I was going to say I'm not sure the quality. Because it says Crafter Square. And I'm not sure if Crafter Square. I can even open a thing without making a. Uh... What I was going to say is I'm not sure about Crafter Square. Like what company that really is. I'm sure it's a. Well I can't say sure. But I'm thinking it's probably a big box company. A big name company that um, is making Dollar Tree products. So stuff for the Dollar Tree. Um, It's pretty sturdy didn't come off real it doesn't come off real easy these don't turn and twist so that's really cool then they had these two piercing and styling piercing and scoring and so you know this is a score thing you can score with that as well and then it's piercing if you don't want to get it all if you have junk journals and stuff you can just get this and poke through your paper and you get two pretty pokey <laughs> Um, the lids, I don't really know about the lids being that good, but in here go some stylus. So those are pretty cool. Um, then I was really excited about this. Now I do have some gum and residue. Um, I do have a gum and residue eraser already, but I was like, I need another one. I wanted to get another one just because why not? Right. I'm just opening everything up. Right. Um, I've never actually held the one that I own. I didn't think they would be this ugh, feels funny in the hand so I just scribbled on here I think though what you're supposed to be able to do is um, make it work I don't know how to make it it won't work but maybe I'm doing something wrong but residue in my opinion is like stuff that's stuck on something that you don't want like maybe this and you erase it and it goes away like it just did so I think that's what it is and I think over time once you use it up it goes get smaller and smaller I'm not sure I don't think it, it it can like erase pencil markings I think that it erases like gunk that you have on your desk like dried up glue and things like that it gets that up so I had some glue off camera and see it just picked it on right on up so that's really cool then as I told you I had went to Walmart <laughs> to get this and it was four bucks so i was like i'll just wait until that's down a little bit more and get it but then i came to the dollar tree and they have this uh glue stick i am opening up everything huh and it's avery so i was like avery is a pretty reputable company right everyone talks about avery products i think and here's how it looks. Let's go ahead and rub it on. So they had pretty decent craft supplies, I guess you could say, at the Dollar Tree near my house. And we'll check it at the end to see how well it sticks. If not, it'll just be another... Why did you buy that? I did buy some more foam tape. And this one is broke. I don't know what happened. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take it out just because you all know that I, oh, I like to get foam tape because I like to um, give some of the projects a little bit of dimension and height. Um, and I thought this would be really cool because if you can see, it is different sizes. So this is the larger one, probably a quarter, um, eighth, and then a half maybe. Let's see. Yep, half inch. So I thought that would be really cool. And I think, hopefully, I can't say for sure, this is not, oh yeah, it's not demonized tape that wants to stick onto stuff forever. 
And then I got some more of these fasteners, these little adhesive dots, because I've been working on stuff. And I'm like, I need this. They did have some magnets, but I was like, the magnets were thicker and I didn't want those. I got these for the little one because he's into coloring a lot more. So I got him one and mommy one so we can do these projects together. And then I just thought this would be cute. So we can work on these and put these in our um, around the living room where the Christmas tree is going to go this year. He's so excited about Christmas and Halloween. Oh my goodness. That's all he's been talking about. I wish I could Halloween. I said it's called trick-or-treating. It's after your birthday. You're going to go. Don't worry. This will be the first year that I've actually taken him to trick-or-treat. We'll probably do a few houses and come on home. I'm just going to probably get some candy for him. Now, I don't normally buy a lot of Halloween decor because I don't decorate the house for Halloween. Maybe once he gets older and he's like, Mom, why aren't we doing it? Maybe we'll do it. But I thought this would be cute to make snowmen um, hats out of. And even with these little faces, I probably could put these on a project. Like if I made it like a Halloween journal or something next year. Because, you know, Halloween is here, so to speak, in a crafting world. People are working on Christmas and New Year and Thanksgiving and all other projects. So, but I thought this would be cute. I could just, um get this glitter off it's already falling off so not a lot to do there probably and repaint it and then um fix it so it can look like a snowman hat maybe but i thought that would be really cool and i want to go ahead and grab it before everyone did you know a lot of people making their halloween wreath and then this is going to be an oddball purchase but when i was doing our shirts i could not find my weeding tool so i was like why not just go ahead and get this pick because if you see right here at the end, you can pick off your stuff if you're going to make a vinyl shirt. That would be cool to do. And, you know, um, this could even be used for a score, I guess. So, yeah. I got a few food products. Not many. But I got this one because I was like, okay, let me try this sugar in the raw. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, uh, a lot of people were talking about it. And I got it. Even though I'm not vegan or vegetarian I am trying to gear myself towards more of those types of things where no animals and things are being harmed and it says certified vegan so I thought that would be really good to get non-gmo vegan um, naturally gluten-free so even though I'm not allergic I don't have any of those food allergies to my knowledge or anything like that I just thought that would be really good to use especially with my tea that I've been drinking I also stopped at um, Ross and I saw this Texture chalk paint is whisper white. It's a dollar ninety nine, and I thought that was a really really good deal. Um, it's real loose, and I want to work on some cabinets that I had bought like seven or eight years ago, maybe maybe not that long, maybe six, five or six years ago maybe, and I want to get them out of my garage. So I want to paint them down, scuff them up a little bit, and put some vinyl lettering on them to see how that will look. Cause I'm tired of the roommate talking about them. I also got these um, craft gear, and I think craft gear is probably like, you know, the inexpensive crafting supplies. I have a lot of paint brushes, but I got these for the little one, except for this, this right here. So these, I'm going to put in his, he has a little bucket, even though they're not blue. They're pink, kind of lavender-ish, purplish. But anyway, we're going to put these in his little um, painting thing because... He has a bucket of craft stuff that he can use to paint with. I do enjoy going to Ross to find things. So we got this. Um, my son has not been exposed to Halloween. Like some children may be exposed to it. We really don't go crazy over holidays. We just do them. And if they're big, they're big. If they're not, they're not. But I got him this. And it was, um, let's see, $3. It was $2.99. And I said we can paint this together. You know, I can paint maybe one. He can paint another one. Like, he doesn't know what a sugar skull is. And to be honest, neither does mommy. But, you know, he knows a witch. He can identify the pumpkin. That's a bad glare. I apologize. So, the witch, sugar skull, the pumpkin, Dracula, um, or a vampire. So, he knows about vampires from Vampirina, the cartoon, a little bat, and then a spider. He says he's afraid of spiders. And then he says he's not. Each week, he picks a different one. This I had to get because if you know me, <laughs> you know, I like scissors. I like cutting stuff. But I was like, okay, I'm going to get this and I can actually 
stop using my paper scissors for my fabric since this is sewing scissors i was like okay this is good it was five dollars and i think that it's a very good deal for you know scissors a dollar and a quarter a piece almost so that and then they're green and blue and they work pretty good i don't really i've never had any issues with craft you can tell this is a right-handed person's thing right <laughs> but i'm gonna try to make it work so the thing I got to remember is not to use these for paper, right? And then this. And then these big scissors. You can just run down some fabric. And they open and close really nicely. Um, so that's going to be cool. Let me just look at the package again. Um, this is thread snippers. Embossing scissors. Embro excuse me, embroidery scissors. Micro tip scissors. And then this one says embroidery scissors but i would use this more for fabric so that is the things that i purchased um hopefully you're not getting too brandy start doing haul videos um you know because sometimes that can be annoying as well but you know we'll get back on to crafting so i want to say thank you all for watching and you see it sticks pretty okay um maybe i didn't apply enough down But I think if it would have sat a while and cured, maybe it would have stayed sealed because this sure bond, this right here, craft bond, this stuff I think would have definitely kept the kept it from opening up. So, you know, you may buy that Avery glue stick at your own risk versus not buying it. So that's something to think about, right? And then I'll just check it out and let you all know in another video if you ask me about it. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.